Hello and welcome dear Mountain Blade Warband fans. Today we are going to play another modification, Nova Aetos. I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly, sorry if I didn't. Before I start, let me quickly talk about a few things. The first thing is, English is not my native language, please bear with me. The second thing is, I have no idea what this mod is all about. I did see some screenshots and I've read a short summary of the features and from what I've seen it looks amazing. Let me quickly take a look at the options. Yep, this are going to be the options we're going to play with. Everything on hardest settings, that's fine, except for the lands control and block direction, that's not so important. I guess, without further ado, let's start a new game and begin a new journey. And it seems like we will get a short background story. That is quite a lot to read. If you want to read along, you can just pause the video, but I'm going to read that uh, very, very quick. So now I have an idea what the mod is all about. We have technology on the rise, we have merchants who are becoming more rich and influential, and it seems like we are overlooking a great danger lurking in the east. And the rest of that stuff, not too important. I guess Religion is important. That's uh, the other interesting thing that this little text gave us. Okay, I'd say let's continue. I want to see something. Select your uh, your character's gender. I will play as a female character. You were born many years ago. Your father was. You know, I really want to have a combat-focused character, but I guess it doesn't hurt to ha have at least a little bit of intelligence for... Uh, some pathfinding and some spotting early on. So I guess I could go with Priest, I'm not so sure. I guess I would go for Hunter. That sounds like it would give me at least some riding right uh, right off the bat. Um, you can, your main interests in the field are I guess Buying, selling, crafting, farming, liturgy and worship, liberal arts like philosophy, hit history and rhetoric. Yeah, why not? Your personality and ideas turn out to be rather... What do we have? Hateful, revengeful and irrational. That looks good. I'm going to select that. I have no idea what uh, that is actually going to give me. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became... Mm, how about lady in waiting maybe yeah you know what I have no idea a lady in waiting why not but soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer what makes you take this decision was personal hate against the lords lust for shiny coins <laughs> um no I guess I will go for personal hate against the Lord, why not? Uh, your old life, become an adventurer, let's go. What will the game's saving policy be? Since I've never played that, realistic saving is probably a bad idea, but I will go with realistic saving. Now I have to create my character, that could take a while. So this is how we're going to start. I decided to go at least a little bit for Leadership, prisoner management, a lot of pathfinding, which is very important, probably, like in any other mod. And our name is Marie d'Artois. That is a name from Anno 1404. That's a very lovely NPC. I, I do like that girl, and this is why I will stay with that name. Done. Now I have to create Marie d'Artois. That could take a while as well. I think it's not that easy to create a good looking female face with the default warband textures. It looks like they do have a higher resolution than the default faces, but still it's not that easy to create a good looking girl. But this will be Marie d'Artois. Say hello, because now she's going to follow that little path in front of her and let's see where that path will take us. Done? Let's go. Um. That is quite a lot to read. Let me read through that. It basically says religion is important here in Kalradia. So I should choose my religion right here. But you know what? I will go for I believe that no gods exist. Let's do it. You finally set food and old man will please choose your age. 
Young and energetic. Well, I guess I will go with young and vigorous. Between 25 and 35 years. Because that is actually uh, my real life age as well. Somewhere in between. Okay, here we are. Marie d'Artois. Here we are. Let me quickly take a look around. Okay, we are like in the middle of the map. The, the title music is still pumping. Okay, we do have a pretty huge map. Where am I? God, I lost... Oh, the training field. You know what? This is where I start. Speak with the trainer. And here we are. Oh, I look like a little townswoman. Hello. There she is. You know, since I have no idea what the mod actually changed, I have to look around everywhere. Starting with the trainer. Because I do know what training grounds are doing, but I guess I have to check it again. Hello. Good day to you, Les. You look like another adventurer. Okay, I guess... Yeah, it seems like those are the, the standard Warband dialogues, so I guess I can move on to practice. It's good to find someone eager for practice. I train a novice... Okay, yeah, I am. Just give me something to fight. Okay, so I guess this is just, you know, teaching you how to fight. I think I have to fight a few novices, then some regular fighters, some veteran fighters and some champion fighters. Um, opponent will be a novice fighter. Let me quickly fight through all these guys and then let me see what will await me at the end. Because I don't think I actually ever completed that before. But l let me quickly do that. And here goes the third novice fighter. I think now I have to face some, some harder enemies. Uh, way to go, lass. With that victory, you have advanced to the next training. From now on, your opponents will be regular fighters. I guess three of them as well, and then we should be able to face even more dangerous enemies. But how does that guy survive a single blow? I am hitting him with a freaking sword, and that guy has no armor at all. Okay, who cares? And there goes the third one. Goodbye, regular fighter. Now I guess we have to face veteran fighters. Uh, soldiers, veteran fighters. But they should not be a problem at all. And here goes the third one again. Now, are, are, are we done yet? I'm not so sure. Uh, you've got the heart of a champion and the sword armor to match. From now on, it will be champion fighters. Okay, I guess three more of those and we should be fine, I guess. And there goes the last champion fighter. What do I get now? Let me see. I get a level 300 experience. It does my heart good to see such a promising talent. You have passed all the tiers of training. You can now tell everyone that you've been trained by the master of the training field. Thank you very much, master. Okay, so that was a good start, I guess. But still, we only have 130 florins. So that's not a whole lot, I guess. Mm, I should probably look for a town and start working. Because it said in the introduction screen not too long ago that I have to work my way up. I mean, I could just get an army and conquer something and start my own empire. But it also said to get the full out of the game, you should start working your way up in the towns. And I think that that's what I'm going to do. So let me check. Where is the next town? I guess I will go to Sargoth. From the developer. That is a lot to read. Let me read through all of that. A very important hint. Don't also forget to save often and to multiple slots. With realistic saving, it's not that easy. So it basically just says, work your way up, be a nice guy and you can do it. During your travels, you come across a lone warrior traveling towards Zunos. You learn that there will be a tournament there. Where is Zunos? Zunos is right here. You know what? I will go there first because tournaments are actually a very good way to get some money because as I said, I only have 130 florins, so I probably don't even have enough money to get some deer herd. Hello, deer herd. I don't even have some money to get some of the, um, you know, volunteers to follow me. So I guess let's go to Sunos first. Wow, that looks like a big town. Join the tournament. Not yet. I really want to take a look around first. The gate. Why not? Hello, gate. I will now take a look around the castle first. There's probably nothing much to see here. But let me take a look around first and then it's time to join the tournament. 
this is something new. Visit Guildhall. I've never seen that in any other mod before. So that's probably something new. Watch out for the house diagonally opposite from here. The Black Death is present there. Oh god. Oh, by the way, don't you feel we are too good and great to dwell here in such a place like this? I suggest you donate to the guild master to get a better building just like me. I don't have any money. I mean, I cannot really donate anything. But let me talk to... Oh, that's the town guild master. Hello, stranger. You seem to be new to Sunus. I'm the guild master. Um, what is the purpose of that guild? Every town, several guilds for handicraft. There are guilds. Okay, this is just the, the normal enterprise system, I think, from uh, Mountain Blade. So, If you have enough money, you can open an enterprise and get some money there. Well, exactly. Wish to, wish to buy land for productive enterprise. I don't have the money yet, so... I wish to become an apprentice and learn a profession. My dear Marida Toa, it's great news. You want to work hard to become a craftsman. Which profession do you want to learn? Ooh. What do we have? A dyer, oil maker, wine maker, baker, priest, tailor, carpenter, or blacksmith? I guess... I will take one of these for crafting things. I guess. But what could I take? Priest, tailor, carpenter... Well, tailor, maybe I'm able to craft my own equipment, but blacksmith sounds like I could improve my weapons with that. You know what, I will go with blacksmith. Are those sure you want to become blacksmith in this town? You also need to pay for your stay, I reckon it costs 375. No, I don't have enough money. Uh, can I maybe get a... get a... A quest. We have some fighting near the town lately. Okay, I just have to deal so kill some looters. That should be doable. Okay, but now I will take a look at the tavern and then it's time to join the tournament. Traveler Cannoneer. Mercenary. I don't have any money, I'm sorry. Maybe after the tournament. Another mercenary, a ransom broker and a wandering scout. Um, yeah, I already know that you are going to buy my prisoners if I have any, but I don't have any prisoners. Okay, I guess I will now join the tournament. Here it is, let's join the tournament. Tournament of Sunos. Status, you are in the first round of the tournament settings. Current weather. Oh, this is the expanded system, I think. Yeah, the, the tournament enhancements, I already know about that. I think I'm able to choose my own weapons here. Change tournament options. Yeah, team random is fine. Uh, there are a lot of options. It did edit tournament design. No, I will not edit any of that. Let me quickly take a look through all these options because I will take my time here. So I am ready now. The only real thing I changed was to... Um, always spawn with a lance and with a shield because lance and shield is actually a very powerful weapon for the beginning so fight the next round let's go that is actually a very very powerful weapon so I should be able to get some kills here I did place a bet on myself that I will get at least two points in each round so hopefully I can do that because that would give me I think 900 florins each match and this is what I really want to see Oh god, that guy almost killed me. Please don't attack me, ouch! Oh god, if my horse dies, I'm probably dead as well, because a lance without a horse is very, very bad. But now I should be able to kill that guy, yeah, very nice. Oh, that guy's still alive. Run, 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 run. Oh, my horse is almost dead. Okay, now it's either him or me. And it is him, very good. Who? Okay, three points, that should give me some money. You have earned 817 florins for your clever bet in this round. Plus 60 experience, plus two renown. I'd say continue fighting next round. This could be hard, but it is doable. Okay, that guy's throwing at me. That's probably bad. How many throwing weapons does that guy have? And my god, he's throwing fast. He probably has quite a lot of proficiency with throwing weapons. I think his, his throwing weapons are gone. Nope, never mind. I think... No, no, I think they are gone. You should die. Yeah, very good. And only 14 experience for a captain. Sir Jen. Oh, you're going to die now. Boom. 
That's what I that's what I said. Lances are very strong for the beginning. 817 Florence for your clever bet. Plus 60 experience, plus two renown. Continue, fight in next round, let's go. Oh god, be careful. Do not lose your horse. Why is everyone shooting at me? Okay, I should try to uh, be sure that I get two kills. Okay, very good, very good. And now I only have to survive because that guy with the crossbow is shooting at me and that lance guy is following me as well. So be careful, Marie Latour. Maybe now is a good opportunity to kill him. Oh god, I missed. How could I miss that? Come on, this is this is such a this is such a great chance for a lot of money. I really need the money. And now I can become an apprentice or I can start an apprenticeship here as a blacksmith. And I also could recruit some some volunteers. <laughs> that could take a while. And now he should die. Come on, die, 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 die. <laughs> How could I miss? Oh, I, oh, I killed the mount. I'm so sorry. Horus received 83 damage. <laughs> but that guy should die. Ooh, that was actually close. Captain Connor of Iluka. 817 Florence. Very good. Continue fighting next round. We're actually doing quite fine. Oh, that was close. That was close. That could again take a while. But maybe someone's going to die right now. Very nice. Already the very first kill. Now they can kill each other. And I just need to kill one more and I will already get my my money, I think. Very nice. The tournament is perfect. This is a very good uh, amount of money early on. Ouch, how did that guy hit me? I used my shield. Never mind. Sir John of Theras. 817 Florence again. Continue fighting next round. This is perfect. This is just perfect. Please die, please die, please die. Nope, he blocked. Please die, please die. Yes, very nice. Paolo, only 10 experience? That's that's not very much. But, oh god, please go away with your, with your throwing weapons. That is the next money. Come on, gi give me my money. 817 Florence. And a lot of experience and renown. Very nice. Continue. You are in the final round of the tournament. Enemies know to flee when you approach. Fight in next round. Let's do it. Only four enemies remaining. Please don't, please don't let me lose that now. That guy will die. Yes. I only need to kill one more and maybe I already won the tournament because I got quite a few points in the earlier rounds already. Come on. This is a freaking lot of money. That That is the best start in any mod I've ever had. Nova Aetas, here I come. Please don't kill me. Best start, best start I've ever had. 817 and again experience renown finish your relation with sunos has improved you gain 24 renown 3008 florence 400 experience and i got to back what i want something else i want a mount i want a weapon okay never mind let me take a look what i got to back <laughs> Okay, I guess I could sell that for a good amount of money, but now it's time to take a look at the apprenticeship. Uh, where is the guildmaster? Oh, the local church. Go to the castle. Oh wait, I cannot even go to the castle. At the moment you make attempts to enter the castle, the guards immediately block the entrance. Access to the hall of the Lord is denied. One of these heavily armored begins to insult you. Low origin. The guardsman tell rambles while the access is denied. People of low origin are simply not allowed. Okay, I guess that makes sense. No, I will not hurl some insults back. Let's go back to the town center. Where is the guild master though? Not the tavern? What about the local church? I've never been to the local church. So click. Wow. Well, I do not... I, I'm, a, I'm an atheist, so... I'm curious what that guy has to say. Hello, Bishop. 
Welcome to this church, my daughter. I'm the humble servant of God, sent to run this building and lead the people of this town. What can I do for you, my daughter? 250 renown. I want to become Christian. At the moment, nothing, father. Yeah, I don't even have the renown and I do not want to become a Christian, so thank you very much. I guess there's nothing I can do here. Where is the guildmaster, though? Manage property? No. Go to the castle? I cannot go... Wait. Marketplace? Ah, here. Visit the guild hall. Okay, now I can start the apprenticeship. Hello there. Wait, what? Oh, I accepted the quest. Seems like I cannot really do anything until I finish the quest. Okay, never mind. Um, I do have some money now. 7,590 florins. I could sell the tobacco. Large bombs. Use this to cause terror. <laughs> what? I don't have any power throw, so I cannot really equip that. Balanced colored lands. No, balanced lances are to cracked lands. Thrust 25. You know what? I do have a mount. Yeah, I do have a mount. As I said, a lance is very powerful in the beginning. So let me get that lance. Maybe, maybe a good one-handed weapon. Like that. Cannonballs. Use this to fire cannons. Okay. No, for the time being, that's fine. I have to deal with some, with some looters, I think. Right here, they are everywhere. And I'm all alone. That, that could be hard. That could be really hard. But I guess let's do it. I am ready. Come here. What do you want? Oh, those guys actually look kind of tough. Surrender or die. As you wish, prepare to die. I should be able to do that, hopefully. Battle advantage minus seven. Press set to view combat abilities. Um, rage. Wait, I do not have time to look at that now. Sorry. I will take a look at that when I do have the time. But for the time being, I want to deal with those looters. Come on, come on, come on. With, together with my lands, I should be able to kill those guys, hopefully. Maybe I should also try to get a faster horse, because a very fast horse is important in the beginning. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> I, I cannot even one-hit these guys. But this is doable. Just trust me, I can do this. One more crossbow shot, and then it's time to attack. And now let's attack. Reload and let's go. Here comes Marie d'Artois. Like that. Looter killed, delivered counts lands damage. And my horse is actually quite fast. Very nice. I can do this. Oh, maybe I should maybe I should try to get a shield, because without a shield it's still somewhat dangerous. But th this is doable. Say hello to Marie d'Artois. Headshot and still alive. <laughs> Come on, one more, one more. Boom, and another headshot and still alive. Let me try that one more time. Boom, looter killed by Marie d'Artois. I can do it. I can do that alone. That is actually not such a bad idea because I could uh, farm some renown here. Because for every battle I should get around seven renown, something like that. And that is actually not that bad for the beginning. Headshot and still alive, but we can do this. I think they have a custom running animation because they, they run in a different way than in all the other mountain blade mods So there's there are definitely some custom animations in here and Pew very nice only one remaining enemy and the looters are already gone That will be that will be a good quest. I can already tell and now you don't is he running away from me you coward very nice battle. And a lot of experience as well. Oh, I got... I got a level. Mm, leadership. To be honest, I'm not so sure what I should spend these skill points on. Because it says craftsmanship. Um, makes it easier to craft more advanced items. I don't know if I need that. So I will... I will not spend these skill points right now. I will wait until I know if I need craftsmanship. So I will just leave it like that. Battle 1. 
Only one renown, never mind. I thought I, I could. Yes, I thought I could get more. A ne very nice. Ooh. That looks even better. Yeah, that, that looks very good. <laughs> now we have very good equipment already. Not very good equipment, but, you know, somewhat good equipment. I like that. I will take all of that with me. All of that. Very, very nice. Let me hunt some more of those guys. Hello, looters. Are you ready for seven more enemies? Because they are going to die. Yeah, the good thing is that I don't really have any ranged weapons. As soon as the enemies have ranged weapons, it will become harder. But for the time being, that is not a very hard fight. And a thousand bolts later, we are almost done. Headshot, but he's still alive. One more bolt and he should be dead. And we have the second group of Lucius right now. Very nice. That will be some nice experience as soon as I turn that quest in. Rita Tuas already very, very strong. I like it. Not very strong, but you know what I'm talking about. Plus 40. It keeps getting better and better. Let me take all of that. At least most of that, because my inventory is almost full. I guess I could sell really quickly. Let me quickly sell and then attack more looters. Just take a look. That loot I got from the looters already gives me 1,600 florins. So now I have over 8,000 florins. And I will continue to hunt these looters because that is nice money, that is nice experience. We're getting somewhere already. And only three remaining bolts, no, two remaining bolts and two remaining enemies. Very nice. Okay. So in total, I think I have two bolts. Let me see. Come on, that guy has to die now. Oh god. Never mind, I could do it in melee as well, but I really want to kill him with my last... Very nice. I used all of my bolts and all 13, I think, all 13 looters are dead. Let me see. 13 dead. Very nice. A lot of new stuff. That is, that is some nice money. And there are still some more looters here, right? There are still more looters. Right here. Oh, deserters. That could be interesting. Those guys are probably going to attack me. Let me think about if I should do that. Maybe I should check Swadian footmen. Let me report. Can I not see the troop tree somewhere? Notes, maybe no. Inventory character cam, take an action, political map. Can I not see the troop trees? Kingdom reports, faction troop trees, uh, Swadia. Something about foot, footmen. They have, they have, are those throwing weapons? No, those, those are not throwing weapons. That should, oh, but they have shields. That is probably dangerous. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't do that. I guess I will just try to get the looters. Let me see, are they going to attack me? Yes, they are, but they're not very, they're, they're not very fast. I should be able to kill them. 13 enemies again, I should be able to do that. And quite a long time later, 12 are already dead, and here goes the last one. Boom! A lance in your face, we did it. The next 13 looters are dead. That quest is going to be awesome, I guess, as soon as I turn it in. Let me see, yeah, some, some more nice helmets. Did I get maybe a better... 35? No, I already have quite a good armor. And I, I, I like that. My equipment is already very nice, I guess. Okay, those guys are still chasing me, but maybe I could already turn that quest in. Let me see if I could find some more looters. I'm going to kill them if I find any other. But if not, I'm just going to turn that quest. Oh, wait. I saw some. Yeah, 13 more looters. Let me kill them. The problem is just, it seems like it's nighttime and I cannot see a damn thing. Just take a look. It's almost like a horror game. It's so freaking dark, but I should be able to do that nevertheless because those those guys are going to uh, get very, very close anyway. And I should be able to see them all the time, I guess. Okay, let me quickly deal with those 13 looters. And we are done. All of the looters are dead, not a problem. Another 13 looters. And another... Oh, that is, that is really good money. That is really good money. Okay, I guess... Wait, what? Oh, this is the weekly budget report. Paul Tax, okay. Um, zero influence added, you lost auto saving, game saved, disabling option. Okay, nothing too interesting. I should be able to turn 
the quest in now. Let me take a look. Because I already killed quite a few looters. Um, marketplace. Guildhall. Let me see. I should be able to turn the quest in. Come on. Good day. Have you any progress? I killed some looters. 200 florins? Yes. You have advanced to level 6. Relation improved. Experience. Very nice. So now I should be able to start an apprenticeship. Um, I wish to become an apprentice and learn a profession. Blacksmith. Are those sure you want to become a blacksmith? Yes, I am ready. You are now... Okay, 100 prestige points earned. Whatever that is, I'm going to find out. Now you're an apprentice. There is an option available via the town menu to visit your workplace. Do this daily and talk to the master craftsman to complete your job and increase the chance of making a masterpiece. Okay. Congratulations. I will send you to one of the many master craftsmen in this town. Wear a card. If you feel you're good enough, become a master. Join the guild and start your own enterprise. You can talk to me. You will produce your masterpiece. If you're successful, you're accepted. But for now, I suggest you to learn and work hard. This is what I am going to do. But not just now. I will sell uh, all of my stuff because I, I will get a lot of money for that. I could maybe buy a new crossbow while I'm at it, I guess. Because I do have some good money now. I have 10,000, now I have around 13,000, 12,300. Maybe I could buy another crossbow. Siege cannot be used on horseback. Okay, well my crossbow is not too bad, I guess. A band... Okay, no crossbows to get here. Yeah, never mind. I guess for the time being that's enough. Um, I already won a tournament. We are an apprentice in Sunos, and I guess things are going to start, you know, to get interesting very soon. I will work here, see what that's going to do for me, and then it is time to explore the world map, I guess. Maybe I should ask for other tournaments, go there and earn some money there, because tournaments is actually a very, very good place to get some money, I guess. Okay, for the time being, that is enough. Very first episode, not too bad. We will see each other. Where the heck am I? Here. We will see each other in the next episode. And until then, farewell.